welcome back to another video and welcome to a gorgeous spring day here on the Isle of Man. It's uh, almost up to 14 degrees today which is uh, yeah nice so I thought I'd squeeze in a video before uh, the weather turns a little bit colder later in the week again. After doing a lap of the TT course in last week's video which if you haven't already seen I'll pop the link to that at the end of this video but uh, yeah I just thought it'd be good to show you around some other spots today some that are a little more off the beaten track and uh, yeah just show you around the island a little bit more I've got a few in mind this morning mainly up the north of the island So the first place I've decided to take you guys this morning is up here on Mackled Head uh, for no other reason than the view really because the view from up here is absolutely stunning and uh, it's also actually the most easterly point on the Isle of Man so you can see all the way out to sea all the way out there you usually see across the UK on a clear day and then you get a beautiful view of the, the north of the island as well it's a dead end road up here as well so you barely ever get anyone uh, coming up and even some of you locals might have never been up here but yeah it's definitely worth coming up whether you're on your bike or you're walking up here it's uh yeah definitely a nice place to, to sit and reflect and yeah enjoy the view so it's a bit windy up here today but i thought it'd be rude of me uh for all you lighthouse enthusiasts out there not to uh, show you the lighthouse up here on Macklehead. Down there. Built in 1914. Fact check that as well, so you can trust me on that one. So that's the first location ticked off the list over there in Mackle this morning back up on the coast road now but um, this list is just a, a list I put together at the start of the ride this morning and some places that I thought you might like to see if there's any places in particular that you want to see on the video then let me know this is part one of a two-part video and if there's enough interest or uh, people want to see more of the island then uh, maybe you'll have to make a part three but yeah if there's anywhere you want to see let me know in the comments below and i'll try and include them in the video either next week or the week after gonna continue heading down the coast here down to laxey and here's a little fact for you heading into the parish of lonnon now and uh, it's apparently home of the lonnon's gentlemen's fellowship world motorcycle land speed record holders there's a fact I didn't know and I've rode past this sign hundreds of times. So just arrived here at location number two. I'm sure you've already guessed what it is, but uh, here it is in the flesh, the Laxey wheel. So just a few facts on the Laxey wheel for you here, otherwise known as the Lady Isabella. If you're Manx, you probably know the song. It's still currently the largest working water wheel in the world, which is uh, pretty impressive. Although it's not turning today, which is slightly disappointing. Uh, I believe it was built in 1854, maybe. I don't know. I should know that. Most people who come over to the island usually visit the Laxey Wheel. Obviously, it's a pretty historic and iconic landmark here in the island. Um, I know lots of locals come here as well for a, a nice walk. Uh, you can walk all the way up to the top of the mines. You can also walk right up to the top of the wheel if you ever fancy that. Obviously, you can't go in there at the moment due to the corona, but hopefully in the next couple of months, we can return to a little bit of normality and uh, yeah, we can have some visitors up here again and enjoying this... Uh, iconic landmark so that's number two ticked off the list we're gonna head off to the next one now that's also a decent cafe there so if you're up here walking or or riding make sure to drop in there for a coffee and cake so while we're down in Laxey I thought I'd show you another little spot that'll lead on to somewhere we're gonna go later in the video 
little hint behind me there. Down at the Laxey tram stop. This is where you jump off the uh, electric tram that usually comes around, around here. Along the coast, all the way along the coast, pretty much from Ramsey to Douglas. And uh, this is also where you jump on the Snaefell Mountain Railway. So get your tickets in there and you can get yourself up on an electric tram to the, the top of Snaefell Mountain. So as I've come back up north from Laxey here, unfortunately the next couple I was going to head to are in that direction. And as you can see behind me, my nana's cloak has descended on the hilltops. Now the north still looks relatively bright, as you can see over there. So I'm going to head for a different location, one I'd planned a little later in the ride. And then the next ones you'll probably see on the top of the hills will be on another day. Yeah, it's looking too, too foggy on the mountain really to go up there, so Gonna head for the sunny north. So roll down into Ramsey, out towards Bride now. Beautiful blue skies, sunshine. And actually warming up quite a lot now. It's getting cold down in Lacty, but yeah, I'm not complaining. Sun's out up here. I don't know if you can see that behind me, but the cloud is literally just sitting on top of the hills there. I'm being joined by guest rider again, the young. I wonder if you have a little bit more to say this week. How are you doing, Leo? <laughs> Great to see you again on the vlog. It's been a long time, long time. It's been a big, big seven days since the last one. Um, Anything not much, new? Not much to report, really. Have you been? Still, still on lockdown. So the third location here up at the point of air, the most northerly tip of the island and actually the closest point to the UK with Scotland being only 16 miles away over there and uh, yeah beautiful spot views across the sea and uh, the whole north of the island so yeah a nice spot to come and visit I would say. Good morning everyone, let's try this again shall we? So not only was the weather not up to scratch yesterday for the second part of the ride but also after we'd gone to the point of air which you can just see in the distance behind me the uh, the GoPro battery ran out as well so yeah we're out again this morning. Arguably it's turned out a better day than it did yesterday because it's beautiful out here this morning, nice and still, almost no wind and uh, yeah the sun's starting to burn through the early morning mist here so yeah. It should be a beautiful day up on the hills where we're off to next. So after picking up where we left off yesterday up in Bride, come down the North Coast Road, down to the Len, inland just through Andreas now and heading up towards the hills which are right in front of me. But I think you'd agree that uh, yeah, the north of the island is looking pretty beautiful this morning. So we're heading up the valley now, through Solby, up towards Stolty Will, which is in fact our next destination. It's really starting to warm up nicely now. It doesn't help, there's a bit of a drag all the way up here, but yeah, the views are definitely worth it. So technically, we've probably arrived at our next destination now on Stolty Will, but it's not in particular one spot here at Stolty. It's more of an area to go out and explore. Obviously, I'm on the road climb up here now but if you've got a mountain bike and fancy a challenge then head into that plantation there and you'll find yourself some steep hills likewise if you like walking and uh, in the plantation is nice and also up here at the reservoir which I'm about to show you shortly when I finally reach it um, but yeah a bit of everything for everyone to enjoy and if you're out at night as well I believe this is a dark skies destination one of many on the Isle of Man 
as we don't really have any uh, artificial lights from big towns or cities so yeah we're pretty lucky in that aspect as well but I'm almost up at the reservoir so I'm going to get to the top here and I'll show you the view from over there so I've just stopped here on the side of the road pretty much at the top of the steeper section of the climb now so I've got this part to go up to the mountain road which I'll show you on my way up there but yeah you can pretty much see everywhere you'd want to go up here at the faulty wheel anyway with the reservoir you can walk around there it's pretty pretty beautiful views all the way around and then obviously the plantation as well like I say if you want to challenge yourself on the mountain bike there's plenty of mountain bike trails in there and yeah you can even ride across the Drewdale Road and explore the rest of the island from there but yeah pretty stunning views I'm gonna head across to the other side of the reservoir over there to just give you another view and then uh, we'll head up the mountain There we go, here's the view from the other side, right across. Equally as beautiful, but just climbed up this climb. That's where I was talking to you a second ago. Also, if you're into fishing, just spotted a fisherman over there as well. So yeah, bring your fishing rods. Obviously, if you've got your license and all that stuff, I don't know much about fishing, so I'll leave that to you. I'm going to head back up there to the top of this hill now. We've got to keep climbing to get to our next location, but yeah, once you get past the steep part of the climb at the bottom up by the reservoir there, flattens out quite nicely at the top here, as long as you haven't got a headwind anyway, which we haven't today, luckily. And uh, yeah, just gonna enjoy these stunning views behind us. See if you get a chance to look, but uh, yeah, not far to our next destination now. Just up the road here. So I'm going to crack on with it. We're kind of halfway out our next destination because the spot I would recommend visiting is right up the top of there. And unfortunately, I'm not going to get up there on my road bike today. And as I say, in the summer, you can usually get the tram up, which I showed you the station a little early in the video. Which I'm not going to ditch my bike and walk up today. But yeah, you can either get the tram up in the summer, you can walk up, a lot of people walking up. We've got a fell, fell run up here today. Uh, a couple of dog walkers. And uh, if you fancy a challenge, I've tried it before and it's pretty difficult. But, or I probably just don't know the way up. Uh, try and ride up there on your mountain bike. But yeah, the view from the top is pretty, pretty nice. We've done it many a time. Definitely another location I'd put on uh, the bucket list for, for any of you guys out there wanting to explore the Isle of Man, whether you're local or coming across. And uh, yeah, what a better time to get outside. Spring's coming, sunshine is here. So uh, yeah, get out and enjoy the outdoors. So that's it for this one. Time to head off to the next destination. Just thought I'd stop here on the way down the mountain to show you uh, just a view from the top here. And you can see all the train tracks there behind me, which goes all the way to the top of Snaefell Mountain. And you can also see the mines down there that the uh, Laxi Wheel used to serve. So yeah, this video, it's, it's almost like it was planned. But anyway, better go on with the descent. You can also see the Summit of snow fell behind me as well, but uh, it's a beautiful day out here and I'm gonna get on with the ride. That little spot behind me there is another good place to park up if you're gonna walk up snow fell as well and uh, equally walk across the tops here up to North Brule. So the final spot for this video and for this ride is uh, up here at Guthrie's Memorial. Beautiful view over Ramsey and uh, yeah, the monument here behind me and this section of course is named after James Guthrie who uh, won a TT here back in 1937 and then retired later that week in the senior TT. And then unfortunately went on to lose his life in a, in a race in Germany later that year. So they decided to name this section of course after him and obviously put this memorial up here where he retired in his last TT race. But um, yeah, beautiful little spot up here, top of the mountain road. And this is the last spot that I'm gonna show you on today's ride. Uh, this is obviously, as I've said, part one of a two part video. The next one is gonna be mainly in the south of the island. And if you've got any locations that you want me to include, then please do let me know in the comments below because I'll try and do my best to uh, include them in the video. We're getting close to 500 subscribers now as well. So I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, like and subscribe to the channel. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my ride in this glorious sunshine. 
Hope you can do the same. I also hope to see you next week. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to leave you with some views of the beautiful north of the Isle of Man.